Hey there, in this video we are going to convert this quadratic equation from standard form to vertex form by completing the square. And standard form is in this form, I wrote it over here, and vertex form is in this form. So we're going to go from this form to this form. Now, I did a video previous to this where we factored this. So that's always my first step. Let's see if we can factor this. I'm going to show you that we can't, but I'm going to use a shortcut to the box diamond method. Hopefully you're familiar with this. I'm just going to write the diamond part of it. And in the top of the diamond, I'm going to multiply the 10, the plus 10, with the x squared. So what's 10 times x squared? Well, that's 10x squared, but I'm only going to include the 10. I'm not going to include the x squared. So 10 times x squared is 10x squared. But for this shortcut, I'm just going to write the 10. And then at the bottom of the diamond, I'm just going to put the middle term without the x. So I'm going to put a minus 8 right here. So let's slide this minus 8 down here. Now, if this weren't the shortcut method, you would actually write 10x squared here and minus 8x here. But as you get better, you can do it this way. Now, what I'm looking for is two numbers that when I multiply give me 10. But when I add those same two numbers, I get negative 8 you should see there's no combination that works. For example, if I put in 2 and 5, right? 2 times 5 is 10, but when I add 2 and 5, there's no way to get 8. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is you cannot factor this trinomial. So we're going to have to try a different process here. We're going to have to complete the square on this. So let me show you that process. The first step here is to get this plus 10 to the other side. So I'm going to move the plus 10 to the left hand side of the equation that's just going to change the sign so it's going to become y minus 10 equals x squared minus 8x so again all i did was put the plus 10 to the other side of the equation and that switched the sign now the next step is to re is to just leave some space y minus 10 leave some space bring down your equal sign then x squared minus 8x and I'll leave some space here as well. So I didn't really change anything. I just needed to leave some space and you're going to see why in a second. Now the goal here is to complete the square on this piece right here. The x squared minus 8x and to do that you're just going to make a box over here. We've done this before and you're going to section it off into four pieces. What you're going to do is put the x squared right here in the top corner. And then you're going to put this number over here. But we don't know this number now. We used to know what this was. There was always some number here. And we put it here. But now we don't know what that is. So that's a question mark. So I'm going to put a question mark here. Now to fill out the other two corners of the box, this is what you need to think. Are there two numbers? that add up to negative 8x, and there are, they're, they're going to be. you got to think of those two numbers or two terms that add up to negative 8x or minus 8x. But they have to be identical terms. And hopefully you're thinking minus 4x and minus 4x. Because when you're completing the square, these two numbers and these diagonals have to be identical. And when you add them up, they have to give you a minus 8x. And they do. Minus 4x plus minus 4x is minus 8x. And these are identical terms. Now, if you can't think about what those two numbers are, you can take half of this middle term. So you would take minus 8x and take half of it or divide it by 2. And minus 8x divided by 2 is minus 4x. So you just divide this middle term by 2 to figure out what to put here and here. Now, let's go ahead and start filling in the little pieces or dimensions of the box. Again, this works like a times table. So what I'm going to do is put an x here and an x here. Because this little length here from here to here has to be x. Because x x times x gives us this area of x squared. Now, what do you think I'm going to put here? What's the length of this little piece? Well, if this length is x, this length is x. And x times what gives us an area of, min an area of minus 4x? Well, that's minus 4, right? Because x 
times minus 4 is minus 4x. And we'll use the same reasoning here. This will be minus 4 as well. Because x, this length's x, this length is x, and x times minus 4 gives us an area of minus 4x. Now that I've filled in the dimensions of the box, I can complete the square right here. That's why we call this completing the square. So my question to you is, what can I put right here to complete the square? Well, let's think this through. This length is negative 4, so this length is negative 4. This length is negative 4, so this length is negative 4. And negative 4 times negative 4 is plus 16. And that's what number I'm going to use to complete the square. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a plus 16 where this question mark is from right here plus 16 but what you do to one side of the equation you immediately have to do to the other side so since I added plus 16 here to keep everything in balance I need to put a plus 16 here and now we just need to go ahead and simplify this really quickly I'm gonna make another video where I can show you a shortcut to getting this plus 16 and perhaps you can see it there's a way to find this plus 16 without making the box. What you can do is take half of the middle term, or I should say the coefficient. See, the x is multiplied by negative 8. So you look at the negative 8 and you take half of it, or divide it by 2, and square it. Let's think this through. What's negative 8 divided by 2? That's negative 4. What's negative 4 squared? Well, that's negative 4 times negative 4, which is plus 16. That's the same as this. So a quicker way to get this piece is to take the negative 8, the, the coefficient of the middle term, divide it by 2 and square it, and it will give you this. But I think when you're first learning this, it's important that you understand how the box works, and then you move to this little shortcut. So let's now go ahead and complete this process. So what I'm going to do now is simplify this right here. So we have minus 10 plus 16. We can combine these. What's minus 10 plus 16? Well, that is plus 6, right? So this becomes y plus 6. I just combine these two numbers, minus 10 plus 16, to get plus 6. And now I can factor this trinomial. Let me erase this piece here because we're done completing the square on that. And what I'm going to do now is factor. Make my eraser a little smaller. There, there we go. We're going to factor this, this x squared. Right here. There, I erase that. There we go. x squared minus 8x plus 16. We're going to factor it. Well, we already have the factors. They're just the dimensions of the box right here. x minus 4 times x minus 4 gives us all this stuff inside. So the factors of x squared minus 8x plus 16 are simply x minus 4 times x minus 4. So I'm going to write x squared minus 8x plus 16 as x minus 4 from right here times x minus 4. I'm almost done. Now, real quick, you can even double check to make sure that when you add all these pieces up in the box, you get this. We do. Look, x squared, that's right here. Negative 4x plus negative 4x is minus 8x. My plus 16 is right here. Now, I'm going to rewrite this one more time. So, it's y plus 6. And I can rewrite x minus 4 squared, or x minus 4 times x minus 4. I can rewrite that as x minus 4 squared. Because exponents are repeated multiplication, and we have the x minus 4 multiplied by itself two times. So just rewrite it as x minus 4 squared, and then you're just going to move the 6 back to the other side of the equation, and you're done. For the most part, you're done. So I'm just going to subtract 6 from both sides. Kind of running out of room here, so let me scroll down a little bit. That drops off to 0, and we have y equals x minus 4 squared. I just brought this piece down, the x minus 4 squared, and then bring down your minus 6. And that is in vertex form. It's in this form right here. 
and you are finished. So let me just box this so we're clear that this is what we're looking for. That's vertex form right there, right there. The last part of this piece of this puzzle kind of is to identify the vertex and I'll just put that over here. So the vertex is just your HK value right here it's the hk value so my h value is this minus four but i switch the sign it's the number inside the parentheses so the vertex is four remember this one you switch the sign to positive and the y coordinate of the vertex is this k value which is minus six but you don't switch the sign so the vertex would be four comma minus six and we are done so in short let me summarize we started with this trinomial in standard form we couldn't factor it so we completed the square and we went from standard form to let me scroll this back over standard form to vertex form right here and then we identified the vertex well i hope this was helpful thanks for watching have a great day